I'm Maury Leland with Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control out of Dallas, Texas. And behind me here is the SMSS Squad Mission Support System. This is a fully autonomous ground vehicle system. It includes an all-terrain vehicle based on an existing design. In this particular configuration, we've got a reconnaissance surveillance package on top of it. There's a sensor and there's a communication suite that allows this particular autonomous vehicle to be positioned for reconnaissance and surveillance in multiple situations. There's several elements to the system. First and foremost is the vehicle itself. This particular vehicle is a very sturdy vehicle based on a, an existing all-terrain vehicle in the U.S. Um, its payload capacity is 1,500 pounds, but it's been demonstrated under combat conditions in Afghanistan to carry a significant larger load. Um, in addition to this, inside the vehicle is the actual heart of the system, the autonomy. This is what enables the vehicle to, to think and follow a mission that it's given. So it doesn't require a human interface to drive it. You can essentially tell the vehicle to go to a place or to come to a place. You can tell it to follow a route. It can follow a person. It can follow around obstacles autonomously. So the use is just to think of what happened in unmanned air vehicles in history. Now unmanned ground vehicles are, are going through the same process. So besides the vehicle and the autonomy, it also comes with a, with a control system. And then of course it has various mi mission equipment packages. Like I said, in this case, it's a reconnaissance and surveillance package. There's also packages for uh, mine sweeping, counter mine, counter IED, and multiple other configurations and uses. This particular vehicle, this is an actual limit, this isn't a model, this is a real vehicle. Uh, and it's here because we just completed a three week demonstration in the field, in the region, with a user, and it was evaluated under their conditions. Uh, previous to that, we've done several user assessments in the US and the UK, uh, and we've also done a deployment to Afghanistan with the US Army and Marine Corps. Now that was uh, called Project Workhorse. Project Workhorse was originally 120 days where we put four vehicles with the combat units in Afghanistan. They loved the vehicle so much that it got extended and extended. It stayed about double that amount of time. And the, the, the users told us they didn't want to release it. But it, wasn't, it was an operational user assessment in the field. So those vehicles did come back and go back to the US. So actual combat conditions last year in Afghanistan was, was a huge step for unmanned ground vehicle technology. This vehicle was originally designed as the SMSS, Squad Mission Support. We designed it to support a squad level size unit and take the load off those soldiers in their day-to-day -day operations, including combat. And the configuration that's here, you can see it's got, it's, it's got packs, it's got meals, it's got water, and it's got ammunition, simulated ammunition here, as if a squad would deploy in the field with this kit. And this literally takes the weight off of the shoulders' backs and puts it on here. And it's there to support the squad for extended operations. And then if the squad needs it, that vehicle can be sent back to a logistics or resupply point and can be sent back without having to have soldiers accompanying it back. So the uses are, you know, soldiers will think up new uses on top of that. But that was the original design for this particular vehicle. 